supermodel with beautiful virgin hair products. The best real hair, guaranteed, with Pape and Camille Beauty Hair. Pape and Camille Beauty Hair Products. Pack Brazilian Plus Closure for £90. Special offer Brazilian Hair 8 inches for £10, 10 inches for £12, 12 inches for £15. Lace Wig Frontal 10 inches starts from just £55. Find these and other great deals with 100% guaranteed human hair at the Papain Camille store in Brixton. Hop into our Brixton store today or go online with free next day delivery at pchairlimited.com. With Pape and Camille, you have the freedom to be really gorgeous. Tell me about it. The woman's hair is a glory, is a crowd of glory. What is that again? <laughs> You're welcome to Rose on All Sides. My name is Rose Peter Graham. I must say, this is going to be another packed edition of the show. And I must say thank you to Papilla and Camille for supporting us even up till now. Um, a big kudos to them. And of course, you know that they are and 22A Electric Avenue in Brixton. You know the popular Electric Avenue. What's his name again? That song, we gonna rock down to Electric Avenue and then we take it higher. And what's his name? I'm sure I'm going to remember after. <laughs> okay. Um, we had some sad news last week about the Nigerians who were hunted down, who were maimed, who were beaten, who were killed. Okay, you see, this is why I love, I'm going to get back to that, but this is why I love my producer, Uche. Uche just they gave me the name, Eddie Grant. You know, there's a million things going through my head and he just told me just like, yes, it's Eddie Grant. We're going to run down to Electric Avenue. And you just can't get into, the moment you get into Electric Avenue, you just see the sign of Papel and Camille Hair and Beauty Limited. You cannot miss it. It's on your left-hand side. If you're coming through, boots. Anyway, let's leave that hanging. I was talking about the Nigerians who suffered from the hands of um, some very, you know, bad characters in South Africa. Um, These Nigerians, some were beaten, some um, would lost their lives, and um, of course, this infuriated the entire world, and especially some Nigerians who took to the streets. Some say they wrongly took to the streets. And um, of course, the, um, the government of President Mohamed Buhari asked those who would like to come back to Nigeria. And one man took it upon himself. That is the CEO of Air Peace Airline. I say Chief Allen Oyema. He, you know, he gave up his planes and um, Asked whoever is ready. I, I guess 600, about 600 Nigerians signed up that they want to come back. And he has helped like over half that number to get back to Nigeria. And um, I'll tell you something I, I observed after you've seen this video. I don't know if you've seen it. It's actually gone viral. It's actually very, very emotional um, video of when Nigerians came and they were really thanking him. I'm telling you, he is just a hero. Let's watch this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God bless him. We support him. Whatever he 
touching and uh, a brilliant move by him it's really really emotional it detribalized nigerian he actually said this um this was put out by his uh, media department it says i put together over 280 million naira in order to bring these people back air peace decided to bring them free of charge nobody paid us a dime we decided to do it free of charge for our country and our people when I stepped into the craft to welcome them they mobbed me and started singing the Nigerian national anthem there was nobody there singing separation they felt proud to be Nigerian they rose in unison that drew tears from my eyes that's um, the chairman Air peace, Alain Oyema. God bless him. Bless him over and over again. This is what we expect the billionaires and Nigerians to, to, to quickly do. Most Nigeria, with the reception, the recession we're having today in Nigeria, a lot of them go to bed hungry. And then those who are living fat, who have actually cheated Nigerians, refusing to pay tax and the likes, you know, they're just having a field day. If they could just try for once and say, I can't stand it when a child goes to bed hungry or maybe can't even afford to have two meals. There are a lot of families like that who are struggling and those, the strong ones, or the rich, wealthy ones in our society can do so much to elevate them from such situation. We, we commend um, the chairman of um, Air Peace, um, you know, he, he, he did so well. He did so well. And we just hope most Nigerians will learn from that. And the presidency should give him a special recognition or some award. Thank you very much, Sir Allen Oyema. Okay, today we we'll are talking about what it means to be a single mother in a society like this in Africa, anywhere you find yourself. It is really difficult being a single mom or a single parent. Um, I have with me the writer of this best-selling book, Floris Lemon. Don't judge me. I am a single parent. Thank you for joining me, darling. Thank you. <laughs> You're a single parent. Yes. How long have you been a single parent? Wow. <laughs> well, I've been a single parent. It's 10 years now. 10 years? By the grace of God, yes. Did you just say by the grace of God? <laughs> <laughs> 10 years, yeah. Okay. 10 years. How has it been? <sighs> How do I start <laughs> describing that? Um, it's been full of joy. Okay. Tears. You know, challenges, the good days, the bad days. Yes. Um, and the days that you just have to get on. Yeah. That's how we describe it. What's the life of a single mom, really, in a society like the United Kingdom? Wow. Well, if you find yourself to be in that position of a single mother in, United, in Europe, yes. especially UK, it means you are the sole carer of your children, whether it's one or two or three, you have to provide for them. You're most likely going to look for, for jobs because the society in which we live now, money is not enough. What's on the table is not enough. It's just never enough. We're never enough. So talk less of. 
Yes. Um, a single mom. You're looking at childcare if you yes. need to go to work. Um, you're looking at bills, taking after the bills all by yourself. Yes. You're thinking about how you need to manage money. That's just the physical Yeah, manage bits. money, very important. <laughs> manage money, we're going to touch on that. But what yeah. support base is available for being a single mom? Is there any? Hmm. No, you know, like the usual tax credits if you're working. Yes. Um, I think I mentioned that in the book. Mm. We Obviously, the benefit system is there mm. to help, which really not only for single moms, but there is a portion for a single parent. At least there is something to, to keep you going. There is child benefit. There is um, if you're working, you get working tasks. Mm. And um, also, if you're not working, then you get a child tax credit. Okay, but, but, let, but let's look at this. Why did you decide to write the book, Don't Judge Me? Like, don't judge me. I am a single parent. <laughs> wow. I think because, number one, I have had the experience and I have studied the way single parents are being viewed in society. Yes. I've witnessed the stereotypes, the labeling. You know, it, it looks like there is nothing good once you hear the name single parent. There is nothing good that comes out of that. So I've studied that. And I just thought, you know what, let me put something, let me put my experience, my personal experience to paper, um, just to encourage, number one, those people who are in my same position. Yes. And you're talking about both men and women. Of course, in because when they position. say single parent, they quickly think that women. It's why, just did they, women. why did they just, just quickly think? <laughs> I don't know. I think because, because attention, really, when it comes to global stuff, attention is always on women. It comes to where we are in a part of the, of, of the world where, yes. you know, when it comes to human rights and welfare, it's, everything is, to be honest, is mostly focused on women. Because and there children. are a lot of single dads yes. also who, who are. Doing well. Well, fantastically, yes. Yeah, I, and I do meet some of them when I go pick up my baby in school, you know, and they, of course they, they struggle and they share their experiences. And especially in a society where even if you're giving money, you don't have like physical help from yes. family members or friends. Oh, yes. You're all on your own. Um, I do say to people that have been privileged, people that have their mothers, you know, if you have your mom with you in, oh, in this part of the world, you are blessed. You are blessed. You need to appreciate <laughs> because they owe you no obligation. They've brought us up. Yes. They need to enjoy, but some mothers yeah. have sacrificed. But some of us did not have that privilege. So it means you have to do it on your own. You might have a few help, maybe if you belong to a community. Yes. So that's maybe your church, your other religious organization, you know, one or two network of friends and things like that. But most times you are on. Is that where the seeking help on counseling comes in? Yes. Um, I think I did classify that um, on the, when it comes to dealing with stress and mental health, how you can seek help. So those are one of the, of the, of the action points I put down. A lot seeking. of single mothers then tend to suffer mental, have mental health issues. Oh, yes. It? Yes. Yes. I know other people in other parts of society go through you know, at one point or the other, people go to bus as a single parent. It's just a lot to carry, especially because everybody's situation is different. So <laughs> the more your load, yeah. <laughs> the most likelihood you, you're going to find yourself, you know, being depressed. You know, you feel lonely. You feel like you're tied down. Why, why is that? Is it because of the, the stigma that is associated with it? M most likely. Most likely. So, you know, I can always use myself as an example. So, for example, you know, I became single because I lost um, the father of my children 10 years ago. And I, I remember I was vulnerable. I was very, very vulnerable. I was a lively person, but I was still vulnerable. I just felt like I lost the covering. And then some kind of phone calls that I never used to have yes. <laughs> will be coming in. That's from the opposite sex. From the opposite sex. <laughs> <laughs> from the opposite sex. I'm, I'm thinking, ah, but when he was alive, you didn't have any So That's wow. number one. Oh my goodness. And sometimes, and shockingly, yes, there were some of the people knew him. 
Oh no. So women do tend to find that. And I think some men, you know, if we want to be real, some okay. men do get that from some women. Because you just never know who, is, who was waiting. Okay, 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 wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I know that even when, oh, no, no, no. Even when a man goes to bury his wife, not not in all <laughs> cases, but there will yeah. even be women who are there like, waiting. waiting. Okay, get out of this mood. <laughs> We're yeah. waiting. So it's easier for the man to move yeah. on. Yes. But for the woman, it's, it's really difficult. It is. But I would like for you to shine more light in that because, because I'm not sure you put any of those in the end. Did you do that? Like, personally, 10 years now, have you been married again? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you haven't yet been married, but you've had relationships. Um, to be honest, yeah. I have had people who have been interested, but it's just that thing when you just, you just don't feel it that they are the right people. You know, sometimes, because that's not happening, people do... Flores, we're talking 10 years. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 10 years is a very long time. In your opinion. Okay, <laughs> no, I'll take it in my opinion, one. Secondly, you know what, secondly, because, you know, when, when a woman loses her husband and she, she has children, some mm. women, God bless them, I've met a couple of them who would just say, I am going to forget about every other man. I'm married to my kids. Um, you know, they, they come first. I'm going to concentrate and take care of them and do the best I can for my children. I know that there are women like that. Was that the part you took? Yes, I would say mostly because I think um, when you have situations like that, like I've said in the book, you know, maybe somebody got divorced. Yes. Maybe somebody got separated. Somebody was just a one-night stand and they became single. Oh, yes. So, for example, in my own situation, obviously, I was, so the dynamics are different. Yes. But for, especially in the situation of death. Yes. Most times, it's that, it's that thing of being protective yeah. And I think I've done that, but I always have the hope as well to say, you know, um, everything might work together for my good as my children are coming out from that delicate mm -hmm. stage. Because you know the society in which we live in. I've had my fears. I've had my anxiety. One day I said to, to my pastor, I said, I don't want somebody that's coming to sleep with me. Then when I turn my back, to sleeping with my Especially daughter. when you have a daughter. You yeah. can imagine the kind of risk you're yeah. exposed to when you're a single mom. Yes, there are, it's a lot. And we've had stories. It's not even a joke. We've, I have had stories. And stories that are close to now? me. She's 14. And my Beautiful. son is 16. Oh. So I, I think even as youngsters, um, they still look forward. Because I think in every family dynamics, you, we still need that. There's a place. Yes. But if it has not happened yet... The, such, we don't pray for such you bad know. thing to happen. But you, you know, I, I want to go back to um, the society not being fair to single moms. The moment you're a single mother, they're quick to say, oh, she's a single mom. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want to marry her, a single mother. <laughs> but anyway, I don't have her time. She's a single mother. Is it a crime to be a single, single mother? mother? <laughs> it's not as if she said, I don't want to marry him anymore. It's not as if she got pregnant out of what? A, a, a relationship that started, that lasted two weeks. Mm -hmm. She could have been married. Like, there are a lot of women who are married to um, men in uniforms. Mm -hmm. Like, there are issues in Nigeria. A lot of young men who were meant to get married, who just got married, and then they died. They and died. the woman is left, she's pregnant. Yes. And, you know, so these, they're, these are several cases. Yeah. So where is the sympathy in our society? <laughs> I think, for me, like I said in the book, because I was not in that position yet, I'm sure I had my own, maybe ignorantly, because I came from a society. You came from a typical African society of then, course. where you have, you grew up with your mother, your father, you have your siblings, and even when, and I realized that I had family members that were single that left their marriages, you know, for one reason or the other, and they were staying with us. But then, my it didn't occur to, did yeah. to me, ha, huh, until I got here. <laughs> and I found myself in that situation. And yes. you, you never get to understand something properly until you are we are in the shoe. It's true. Yourself. So in, in London. In terms of stigma, yes. I, I have seen it all. You know, somebody being accused that oh you're a single parent, so you sleep around just because 
children are messing about all over in the street teenagers they all come from single parents homes yes. oh oh no 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 it's not true no i work with young people yeah so i i know the dynamics yes we know there are father figures missing in the lives of young people especially when it comes to crime and a lot of things that are happening but you have to consider other factors like peer pressure mm -hmm. although it's not only down to there are some fathers at home that are still not active in the lives of their children very well you so so why the blame on yeah, on single, <laughs> and, you and, know? and you know when we're talking about it i did i did a bit of research and i and i got to find out like i usually say that there are a lot of stars celebrities achievers who were raised up by single mothers oh, yes. and they are doing so so, so well. well anthony joshua mm -hmm. is one yes and I, I have a list here that can go on mariah carey kanye west mm -hmm. angelina jolie barack obama but oh president barack obama was raised <laughs> by his mom i mean so if yes. a single mother can raise someone like obama <laughs> why would you see a single mom yeah. and be and be pointing fingers at her and yeah. the likes yeah it's not see, number one it's not even easy to be a mom yeah and then now a single mom it's a whole lot anyway if i could read this genevieve energy she's a single mom oh. kate ensho is a single mom you can you can you know be a single mom sandra bullock even angelina jolie she's got six britney spears like two ali berry you know two Bookie Wright, I mean, quite a number of them. And Pierce Brosnan, one of my favorite act actors, <laughs> was also a product from, you know, a single mother. Of a single mother. So, why do we tend to stigmatize single mothers? Well, you know, <laughs> and it's not even as if the ones who are fully married are having the best, um, oh, you know, no, of life. Not at all. Not at all. I think um, one of the things I, I've, one of the reasons why. The other reasons why I have yes. written this book is just to create yeah. that awareness, even for those of us in society. Because if you are not affected mm -hmm. personally, you might have someone in your family, you might have a friend yeah. that's a single parent. And for people to know that all is not lost. Number one, celebrate that mom. Because even homes where you have couples, wow, they struggle. They struggle. They struggle, let alone that one person. So I think we should have a different mindset, a whole ball game when it comes to that. And to let people know that I have, in my place of work, I have vice yeah. principals, I have heads of departments, I have heads of years that are single parents. Nobody was wishing to find themselves in that, in situation. that situation. Everybody wants a happy go, lucky me, yes. family. Have that man, your knight in shining armor, <laughs> have his dreamy marriage life. I mean, we all wish for that. Yeah. So. This, this is the other thing. Don't judge somebody until you get to know their story. Of course. It's a lesson for me. I am, I am also learning. Mm -hmm. And I know we live in a society where people don't have time. You don't even have time to say hi to someone. So are you going to even start asking them their story? Well, if you don't know, just lower your pedal. There's a question I wanted to ask you. What is the difference between a single mother and a wife who must work to help pay the bills? <laughs> Well, the only difference is in the status with yeah. the wife being married the status. And, and, and the other woman is, is not married because if I am working and the married woman is working, it means we are bringing, maybe if not, my own money is even plentier than hers because yeah. she is a helpmate to her husband, so they have a balance, but I don't have a choice. Yeah. I have to bring it all. <laughs> Home. Okay, let me ask you this. What should be more important to a single mother? <sighs> right. I think it's going to be the way I view, because uh, I'm going to respect other people's view in this one. But for me, I think one thing that I have held on to is just to ensure, just to make sure my children are happy. Hmm. I spend time with them. If I have whatever little I have, we go on a little outing, we go on a day out. I think relationship, maintaining that relationship, not going yeah. out there to get everything just to please the child, to make them happy. Because most times they want relationships. It's not about the things, it's not about the gadgets. Yeah. It's not about trying to, to please them. Because then we just 
we, they are just shrouded with all those things and mm -hmm. they are not they are not in in tune with reality yeah. so for me i think one thing i say to people um coming this far i am grateful that my children mm -hmm. are still in tune you know a child is a child they have their challenges and stuff like that but i'm happy they are still with me at home you know they I can't judge other people that maybe their children have been taken away from them. Oh. There are various reasons. We know the society in which we live in. There is a battle between the state and the family. Yes. So it's a lot of things. So I am grateful for that, for the fact that I can put food on the table Yes. for them. Yes. Let's go on the break. When we come back, I'll put some more questions to you and then, of course... We'll draw the curtains. Okay, so we'll be going on a break quickly. When we come back, I'll still be speaking with Florence, the author of the book, Don't Judge Me, I Am a Single Parent. Look like a supermodel with beautiful virgin hair products. The best real hair, guaranteed, with Pape and Camille Beauty Hair. Pape and Camille Beauty Hair Products. Four-pack Brazilian Plus Closure for £90. Special offer, Brazilian hair, 8 inches for £10. 10 inches for £12. 12 inches for £15. Lace wig frontal, 10 inches, starts from just £55. Find these and other great deals with 100% guaranteed human hair at the Papa and Camille store in Brixton. Hop into our Brixton store today or go online with free next day delivery at pchairlimited.com. With Papa and Camille, you have the freedom to be really gorgeous. You caught me there. Behold, it's razor again. Okay, so if you're just joining us, this is Rose on all sides. And I was speaking to Flores Lemon, the writer of the book, Don't Judge Me, I Am a Single Parent. So, my darling, we're having an intense discussion. And I, I want to put this to it. Can a single mother transform a situation? Oh, yes. <laughs> um, sure, they can. But in order to be able to do that, it's going to take a lot of determination. Yes. A lot of perseverance. A lot of zeal. I don't even know how to describe it. But those things are going to matter. It's going to take a whole lot of new you thinking differently about yourself. Not thinking and believing what the society and what other people have labeled you to be. You need to first of all be positive about yourself. Say, I'm not a failure. I might not have been able to achieve some things that I want right now, but I know I can do it. You can start developing yourself little by little. Even when the children are toddlers and you're struggling, you're going around, you can, do, you can read. Yes. You can do some online courses. Yeah. If you have a skill, one of the things I put in there, I used to do here. I, I was a university graduate from my country. Yes. I, I, I've done people's hair in this country. I have done child minding. I know you put it here in your book, but what is more difficult for you? Wow. <laughs> what I have found challenging through the years, to, to be honest, I will say just keeping your head up, even though you're trying. It is a battle. Yeah. It is a battle, and sometimes you just have to believe in yourself that that battle... It has to be one. What are your tips? What are your tips for single moms? Tips? Wow. Value yourself. Yes. Stop looking at the other person. Say, this is what they have. Stop wanting to be like the Joneses. Yes. That's a big be tip. Be strong and love yourself. Be strong. Love yourself. Don't let your children take right over you just because yeah. you think you're vulnerable or there is no father in the house or there is no mother in there. And mothers suffer from this a lot. 
Yes. Single mothers suffer from this man because our child, are, our children are very smart. Yes. They have the psychological tip that they play <laughs> around us. Very as manipulative. Parents. Yes. I, I, yeah. I know one like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know something? Eh? This is a topic we cannot exhaust. Yeah. Absolutely, we cannot exhaust. How much is the book? Well, the book is on Amazon. It's yeah. for ten pounds, and the the e-book is just under five pounds okay yes yeah, so it's gonna and how be, is it doing the book is doing fine i just came back from sierra leone oh and i had a lunch and if you flew first <laughs> class that means it's doing really well <laughs> <laughs> that means it's doing really well okay so that's it don't judge me i am a single parent a book by pastor floris Lehman. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you very much for joining <laughs> Thank me. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's so good to have you. And Thank we'll be, you. I mean, calling on you to talk about other topics concerning relationship and the likes. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, viewers. Um, if you're just joining me, I've been speaking with Flores Lemon, the author for the book, Don't Judge Me, I'm a Single Parent. And um, we'll be going on a break, of course. And when we come back, let us look into the human rights situation of the government of President Muhammadu Buhari. <laughs>